so very good morning friends uh, welcome back to my channel uh, and uh, if i have not subscribed yet i request you to subscribe uh, and also ring the bell button so that you will be informed when we you know upload new videos uh, you can find uh, gate materials gate tutorials and also the ktu uh, i mean videos for uh, design of concrete structures one and two and as well as design of steel structures and you can see uh, geotechnical and also water resources uh, in this channel and uh, this is going to be our fifth class in design of steel structures the previous classes we have discussed regarding Uh, different types of steel structures the load coming on that what are the different uh, Im and important steel structures in the world uh, and how the steel is different from rcc what are the advantages of steel and what are the advantages of rcc and how steel is inferior to rcc and uh, you know all these things we have discussed in the previous classes and we have even discussed regarding types of bolt different types of failure and all these things now just uh, before we go into the problem we will just to uh, uh, start with the recap of the previous class in the previous class we have discussed on the different you know strength to, uh, different uh, failures of the bolt or we call like a shear failure or shear strength how do you find out the shear strength of the bolt uh, you know and bearing strength as well as tensile strength so as per the code you can see all these things you can see in code uh, you know is 800 page 75 to 80 this everything is given uh, on you know uh, all this uh, shear shear strength bearing strength the formula and all these things shear bearing then tensile strength all this formula and all you know everything has been given uh, in the code so please go i, I ad advise you to go through it and uh, coming to this is the this is the formula for design shear strength of the bolt f u b into n n into n b plus n n s into a s p divided by root 3 gamma b and the details are given here what are this terminology mean f u b means ultimate tensile strength of the bolt ultimate strength of the bolt actually then nn is equal to number of shear planes so i will tell you i will ex I already i have explained it and still once again this normally i told you the grade of the bolt is 4.6 normally we we use the grade of the bolt is 4.6 the so if it is a black bolt is 4.6 so this 4 indicates from this this fub is equal to first 4 into 100 that is 400 you will get it as 400 mega pascal Newton per millimeter square. Similarly, this uh, this one point six indicates the ultimate strength divided by the yield. Strength. So from this you can find out the yield strength F I B. F I of the bolt is equal to zero point six into four hundred. So this is two forty two forty newton per millimeter square. so this you please keep in the this is how we find out this four indicates and what is this 0.6 indicate this from this we can find out fub and fi okay so that is what uh, we have uh, discussed in the previous classes you can see here fub and number of nn is number of uh, shear planes with the threads intercepting shear uh, shear planes and ns is number of shear planes without thread intercepting shear planes so it is i have discussed it previously so this is our uh, this is our bolt the bolt uh, looks like this okay and uh, this is your head of the bolt you will have a thread like this okay this is called a thread thread and this portion is called shank s h a n k shank okay so if the let us say because you think that this is one plate and this is another plate it has been joined using a bolt like this okay so when the load comes like this what will happen is it can fail here 
it can fail here this location this is a shear plane shear plane okay so normally what happens is the thread may be somewhere here the thread will be starting from here and here and your shear plane is somewhere here so the shear plane is not in the thread area okay so in this case you will write n n is equal to zero means the shear plane is in the shank area this is shank from here to here it is shank so n s is equal to one suppose the shear plane is here top and bottom is thread then you will have n n is equal to one so as i have been uh, discussing when it is a lab joint if it is a lab joint or single cover butt joint lab joint or single cover butt joint as a matter of fact you can take n n is equal to one and n s is equal to zero okay yeah, assume that in lab joint and the single cover butt joint the shear plane because there will be only one shear plane the shear plane will be within the thread area so n n is equal to one and whereas n s is equal to zero whereas in double cover butt joint dc butt joint dcb double cover butt joint you assume that n n is because double cover butt joint there will be two shear planes will be there n n is equal to one and n s is equal to one double cover butt joint means this is like this this is one joint like this you have a core plate here you have a core plate here and this is your bolt so you will have this shear plane and you have here also shear plane two shear planes will be there okay one you assume it is in nn and one is in uh, not in shear plane not uh, in one in thread and one in shank so that is how it is uh, uh, all this calcul we can calculate and the area of a and b is nothing but the area of the uh, cross sectional area of the shank uh, i mean i think i have written wrongly this is area of cross area of the okay we can i can change it here actually a n a s b and this is a n b n indicates uh, threaded portion so this you will calculate it like this uh, because we have discussed in the previous classes so we can calculate uh, uh, this is equal to 0 0.78 into pi d square by 4 the uh, cross section area of the thread this is normal pi d square by 4 okay so that is one gamma MP is a partial safety factor for the because we are designing this using the limb state method. So you ha you have a partial safety factor for the material. Okay. So this one is uh, that is what gamma MP. So it is 1.25 as per the table five of the code 800. Okay. So you have another factor safety factors. I mean partial safety factors also. Uh, this gamma M1 will be there. This is as you can see. we will be using it. We will see it when we will use it. Gamma M1, it is partial safety factor for the material resistance given by ultimate stress. This, uh, this one is 1.25. This is gamma safety factor for the material of the bolt. This is uh, gamma M0, the partial safety factor for the yield, governing the yield actually, yield. Okay. So this one, you please look into that. So this is how we have seen the shear strength. So the code also says, you know, some some correction factors or reduction factors. There are some three reduction factors are, are there. One is uh, beta LJ. This is reduction factor for long joint. If the joint is long, we have to apply some reduction factor. Similarly, if the grip length is more, we have to apply reduction factor for grip length beta LJ. And uh, if the packing plates are used, we need to uh, uh, you know apply reduction factor beta pkg uh, so these are the uh, formula for finding out all the all these things are given in the code so the reduction factors you know why we are using the reduction factor is uh, because normally the long joint when i say the long joint let us say uh, this is a part joint like this or or, or 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 let us say this is a lab joint like this okay and we have uh, two rows of uh, one like that some bolts are there let us say so the distance uh, between these bolts between the extreme well, let us say one more bolts are there three three two layers of bolts are there so this is called length of the joint 
distance between the extreme two, two balls. If the length of the joint is greater than 15D, that's what the code says. Because the, here is the load applied, here is the load applied. Normally what happens is the bolts near to the load will be more stressed. This bolt and this bolt will be more stressed actually. But in the assumption of the design, uh, in the assumptions we assume that all the bolts are equally stressed. So to take care of that, we need to apply this reduction factor. If it is length is low, greater than 15 D, D, when I say D, D is the diam uh, diameter of the bolt. So in that case, we need to apply this, this reduction factor. If it is a long joint. Similarly, the large grip. Large grip meaning if uh, there are so many plates are there, joined like this, one plate, another plate. Okay, let us say one more plate like this. So many plates are joined with a, uh, you know, bolt like this. So uh, this is thickness T1, this is T2, this is T3. So adding this all, it's called length of the grip, LG. Adding all this will give you the length of the grip. Okay, so if the length of the grip is uh, greater than 5D, then we need to apply reduction factor beta LG. Okay, so why it is happening is, why because if the length of the grip, because if the length is more, the length of the grip is more, the thickness is more, what happens is, the, you will have to use big bolt like this, bigger bolt we need to use. Okay, so when the load comes, this bolt might bend like this. There, there can be a chance of bending moment induced in that because of the load. But we assume that the bending stress in the, uh, in the rivet or the bolt, we neglect it. So to take care of this, we need to use this one. And another one is, uh, you know, reduction factor for reduction factor for the packing plate actually. It means if the packing plate is more than six mm, packing plate is nothing but this. If you have a one different thickness of plates are there, you want to join using a butt joint like this. Okay, so in that case, what happens is you no know, double cover butt joint. So we will have to use there's a gap will come here. You see here, this is smaller one, this is bigger one. So this gap, how we are going to fill it? So we will have to use a packing plate here. Packing plate, PP. Okay. So if this thickness of the packing plate, TCP, TP, KP, if this is more than 6 mm, then we should use the reduction factor of this. So this is how we calculate all this thickness of the packing plate is more than okay so if uh, suppose in a in a in a in a joint all these things are present then we need to multiply with this reduction factor for a long joint reduction factor for large grip reduction factor for packing plate so this is how we calculate it so hope this is clear for you so another thing what you have discussed in the last class is tensile strength of the plate Tensile strength of the, and another thing is the bearing strength of the bolt. So this is the formula for that, bearing strength of the bolt. I think we have discussed it. Yeah, I think uh, it is missing here, no problem. So this is the formula for bearing strength. VDP is 2.5 KB, D into T into FU, gamma MB. So this is the formula for that. Uh, that is, uh, you know, bearing strength because we have discussed last class and you have still uh, VPD. I think uh, v, VDPB, the same strength of uh, PDPB. Formula is uh, VDPP design strength and bearing is equal to 2.5 into K KB into T into T into FU divided by gamma MB. Okay, this is the formula, and uh, the code says that KB is uh, we should take the minimum of 3 e by 3 d0 okay similar d0 then p by 3 d0 minus 0 0.25 okay then 1 
and f u by f u b this four parameters we need to calculate e, e by 3 d 0 p by 3 d 0 minus 0 0.25 and 1 and f u b in this which is the least one least one we should take okay so sometimes what happens you know in the co in the in the, in the problem this e will not be given actually because normally so as a matter of fact as per the code e you can take 1.5 d0 you can take e minimum okay similarly p as per the code it gives 2.5 d remember here this is d0 means diameter of the hole here it is diameter of the bolt okay so these things uh, you just uh, go through so that is what uh, this one and d into t into fu that uh, i have already discussed last class and uh, this is the tensile strength of the bolt 0.9 fu into a n b divided by gamma m b so this value should be less than f i into b a s p into gamma m b by gamma m zero so these are the values of that okay fine then coming to tensile strength of the plate this is the formula tensile t n b is equal to 0.9 into a n into f u divided by gamma m1 m1 and uh, 0.9 is a constant gamma m1 is the you know partial safety factor for the material of the plate for ultimate stress this is 1.25 gamma m1 is 1.25 and uh, uh, you know uh, this uh, an is net area and f u is the, uh, the ultimate strength of the plate material so if it is not given you can take this 410 if it is not given in the question usually f u 410 material is you are using if it's not given you can take 410 so how do you calculate the uh, in the net area for example this is this is our plate okay you have three balls are there in between so let us say in this this red color line you know this is a here it is breaks like this this plate breaks into two pieces like this here through that three holes okay so as you can see here three holes it is so assume that the the, the length is b i mean the width of the plate is b and thickness is t okay right so here what happens you know the tearing will happen only here because in the whole area it will, the tearing will not happen where, where there is a hole is present there will not be any tearing because you see is you you see here here we need to tear here then here and only this much area this much portions we need to cut it then automatically the plate will be become two pieces okay because this area there is no uh, material is present here so we don't need to cut it here actually only this 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 between the holes and the edge and the uh, and the hole has to be cut actually so only this much is there okay here 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 only we need to cut so here in this case the the the, the net area means so this is b okay this is d0 okay b minus and d0 because this is the let's say this is the diameter of the hole d0 and this is also the diameter of the hole d0 this is also d0 all, all these are d0 d0 and d0 okay so this area we need to deduct it so that is the reason b minus nd nd means here one two three holes are there so three n is n will become three okay three nd 3d into t t is thickness so area of this portion okay so that one you please keep in mind suppose it was only one hole here there was only one hole then b minus 1d will come into t okay but uh, that is how it is but this is in the case of a chain bolting because all are in the same lines but in the code also says a different uh, you know strategy for uh, diamond or staggered staggered bolting this is called staggered because not not all, all are the not in the same line okay the load is supplied here like this so in this case you know the code says the formula like uh, i'll show you here the formula is this the formula is like this net area is equal to b minus nd sorry net area is equal to b minus n d into you know n 
p square by 4g into t it says p s square okay so it is that is what the code says so anyway i will tell you what is this what does it mean so if the load up let us say this is our thing and the load is applied here like this so what will happen is when you apply a load there is there are so many possibilities are there one possibility is there it will fail here like this let us say if this is one okay this is four then it can fail through like this one two three and four this carrier can fail one two three four okay here it is same same as in the case of a normal cutting like this so in this case a n is equal to b minus 2 d into h because two holes are there so b minus 2 d h into t so this is okay this is it's not a no confusion here so another chance is that it can fail like this it can cut here instead of cutting here it can cut here 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 also because of the stackhead because we are applying the load this direction so it can cut in two pieces like this also okay. meaning it can cut like this one piece like this another piece like this cut into two pieces this piece is this this piece is this like this so in this case what will happen is we need to we cannot use this one this formula b minus nd into t so in this case this is what code says b minus 3 because this portion three holes are there one two three because this the the sharing plane is passing through all these three holes so b minus 3 dh plus p, p means pitch pitch between this is called pitch and this is gauge 2p square by 4g so p square by 4g is a uh, uh, constant p square by 4g is constant this 2 how is coming 2 meaning this is one pitch p and this is another pitch so two pitches that is why 2 comes p square by 4g is a constant as per the code okay so this is that is how it comes into t okay so similarly the another chance of uh, failure is like this it can fail like this one two three four like this staggered which instead of going like this instead of going like this and going like this it bends like this it cuts like this in this case also in the shear plane in the cutting plane we have one two three four holes are there so b minus four dh then three p square by four g how comes three is this is p this is another p this is another p three p's are in more pitches are in solved that is why three p square by four g so this is also this is usually they asked so many times in gate so just go through this uh, that's all uh, on today's class uh, i think uh, i don't think much you will see so before i end up i will just finish off this also we have an efficiency of the joint we need to find out suppose we need to find out the efficiency of the joint the efficiency of the joint is nothing but strength of a joint divided by strength of solid plate into 100 what is the strength of a joint because strength of joint means uh, you know strength of bolt strength of bolt and strength of plate both you calculate and out of this two which is the least and how do you calculate strength of play uh, bolt bolt means shear strength calculate you calculate shear strength you calculate bearing strength out of this two which is the least that is strength of the bolt that you compare with the strength of the plate out of this three you know which is the least that is called strength uh, you know strength of the joint then strength of solid plate means if the plate is like this even though holes are there assume that there is no hole so without a hole what will be the uh, thickness i mean uh, strength of solid plate it will be normally b into t into 0.9 so we have seen no previous class the same formula that one use it uh, so, so another one point you should keep in mind is if the grade of the plate is not given take it as uh, 410 if you take it as 410 lab joint uh, as i told you before if the lab joint is there assume that nn is equal to 1 and ns is equal to 0 and if it is a double cover but joint nn is equal to 1 and ns is equal to 1 finger cover it is same as the case of lab joint nn is equal to 1 ns is equal to 1 so that's all for today uh, thank you very much we will continue next class